Oh, my cookie is so close yet so far away. Use the force, Luke. Only I had a light sword. Of course, if the military does develop such a weapon, they'll probably have to call it a lightsaber. Just because that's what everyone will call it anyway. But if it weren't for yeah. Star Wars, I don't think that's likely to be the name they would call it. Because it's not really a saber, it's more a foil or an epee. If we're gonna, you know, be precise. So either laser sword, I think, makes more sense. If it is a laser, maybe it's a plasma sword. <laughs> plasma epee. Yeah, it doesn't roll off the tongue. If it were racist, it could be a P F A. Yes. Uh. Just a litter bathrobe. <laughs> Just... That's how she's helping out. Just... Take that broom in your pocket. So, I'm confused as to how, I mean, if Geekmeister played this before, hey. how is it that we didn't just have all the cards already? Maybe only only the one special card carries over. Hmm. Quit and become a sheriff, hey. Is an opening. In fact, there's no police force whatsoever. Currently. Right, they're only the the um, the not involved officers. God, look at our money. Hmm. Like a hundred thousand dollars. Most can buy every damn thing on. Get drunk as a skunk and wander around town and shoot shit and pay for it. I wonder if the devil dogs still come out at night. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. Yay, high quality beef. That's my born name. <laughs> I remember there's that old thing that your porn name is the first street you lived on. Or, uh, uh, the first pet, name of the first pet you owned. The first street you lived on, so mine is Whiskers Rule Route 3. <laughs> uh, Bilbo Coldwater Brook Road. <laughs> Bilbo, my god. I didn't name her. I don't know if I named Whiskers. Get in the dumpster. Damn it. <laughs> never gonna get in the dumpster. Never gonna be a dirty agent. Didn't we already replay Galaxy of Terror? Maybe he's just showing off the laser yeah. sword or whatever. It's, uh... Just show it off a little bit and then run away and... Yeah, they're usually, like, segment breaks where you can duck out if you want without finishing. It appears to be the only thing we can choose at this point. Anything else, obviously. <laughs> okay, so it seems to smack them, which is not how a laser works, I don't think. No. It doesn't make the sound. Oh, light? Not, not how light works. Oh, now I can choose things. Do they other. Oh, now we're gonna see the axe. Okay, I guess the other things just go away when you choose things. I thought they were. Uh, like something above and below was always visible, but I guess I just never look at them. <laughs> I don't give a shit. There's a lightsaber in Silent Hill 3, too, is an unlockable. I can't remember what they call it. It's not a light lightsaber. 
Well, is it three or two? Three. <laughs> yeah, damn straight, Zach. Investigation is over. Jesus, just go home. He's that one guy who won't leave a party. Come on, party's been over for an hour. <laughs> hey, let me help you pick up... I just really like your CD collection. Let me help you pick up the cups. <laughs> Alright then. Here we go. Eat Thomas's bagel. Biscuit. That's <sighs> necrophilia at this point. Just a little. All right, so we have all the cards. I believe so. We have completed all the quests. What the hell are those yellow arrows still? Are they just places to race that are always open? Maybe. Or they might be redoable sections that, like, some of them, maybe you can redo them over and over. Maybe. We're, uh, okay, we're going into the red now. So this should be the end, right? Are we not? We're not gonna talk. Okay, fuck talking. Seems seems an odd choice. Geekmeister is like, fuck that, I just want to sleep. Sleep simulator, that's what I'm gonna play. He's not gonna shave? He's gonna go back to sleep. Oh, maybe he's just gonna do a dirty agent real fast. Oh, maybe. Or... He's got a bandage on the other side, too. York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. You're already asleep. Getting up every few minutes and crying out. Shitting my pants. Being upset until someone comes and takes care of me. I don't understand how that saying came about. Babies sleep fitfully and not well. Zach, it's over. All finished. It's probably related to the, the myth to that me. having a clear conscience gives you better sleep. Are you ready to go? Hmm. Then this is no. goodbye, Zach. Forever. Thank I don't even forever. know how I'm talking to you at this point. Good night, Zach. And sleep tight. Uh, don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay, I'm, I'm going now, Zach. Hey, uh, Zach? Remember that movie that John Carpenter did? I get well. Anyway, I, sh I should really go. I'll help you clean up the cups. Oh, hey, Zach! I left twenty in your oh, navy blue that blazer picture? pocket, so you probably want to get that at some oh, point. Oh, that! Yeah. Well, I, it, it, it's we took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago. That's right. That's me in That's the middle. That's me in the spot. I was light popular back then. Losing my <laughs> religion. <laughs> around me. Yes, we got it. We got it. We got it. You know, without you saying it, I probably would have gotten that. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend. Someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really it good friend, White. then. Otherwise, it was, it was a sheep, Polly. why else would you remember him at a time like this? Because men and Indeed. women can be friends, despite when fight, Harry met Sally. But he really <laughs> was a good person. He's gone now, though. It's a gone to away hooey. to a place where we can't meet again. Oh, hey, Zach, I'm, I'm still here. I mean, I'll, I'll you know. I am, in fact, lodged in your brain. You can't I'm leave sure me behind. He's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. Polly seems to be able to hear Zack perfectly well. Mm -hmm. I think you should just end with him being like, Polly, I want to fuck you all night long. I think Polly's the parallel of the uh, Senor Drool Cup, the, the old right. leader from Twin Peaks. Well, might as well end it all. You know, a lot of the supernatural characters are not going to be back. I guess they can all shape change, so yeah. I guess it's not hard, to, not too much of a change for the plot, but. Giants can Is he good? It seemed like he was. I mean, maybe it's just because he's bald. I thought he was. Oh, oh. Now the knowing look yep. from Willie. Mm. 
like the from the Simpsons, the dog comes out and has the mm -hmm. evil look. I think a better English title would have been Welcome to Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Or Red Seeds Case Files or whatever it was. Or She's the Sheriff or really <laughs> anything. Or Did Unnecessary Framing Device. No. She yes, died she died horribly, forest. screaming in pain, wow, she is yanking a, a, a small tree out of her she stomach. Did I not make that clear? Because I could go over that part again. That's right. Isn't that a lovely ending? Hey, Grandpa, can I ask no. you something? What the fuck what is wrong with you? York? York is a real nice guy. He's been a good friend of mine since I was small. Like Mr. Teddy? Yes, just Fire like Mr. Story. Teddy. A very important friend. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! How was that? That's a bit of a scare sting going there. <laughs> Why did we end on the sting? A very important friend. Now loading. F that. All right, we got. I think we're just gonna go through the cards now, right? I guess we'll find out. We'll see what witty bone moss were. Oh. Got our little uh, Nighthawks at the diner moment here. <laughs> That's topical too. Is it? No. Oh. Well, what what is up with your hair, lady? <laughs> it's rubbing her breasts. <laughs> oh, you put Thomas back in uniform. Well, everybody got their everyday clothes, though. So. I think, given his druthers, I'm not sure the sheriff's uniform would be his everyday. Eh, he seems to be know. not mad at Emily anymore, so that's progress. And the afterlife here seems to be a lot of standing around. <laughs> to be fair, regular life here seems to be a lot of yeah. standing around. Although, with, with progress sure. in, in technology and culture, there's a lot more sitting around than there used to be. Sure. Oh my god. I hope that in the background they're all just making out with each other too. Now. If... It looks like a fucking solid snake yeah. in the background there. Hey, I uh, think I'm in the wrong game. Oh. Okay. I think, I don't know, I, I think Thomas is assumed to be male-oriented, so I'm not sure he's going to be doing assumed to male be or what? like like a, a man-lover. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether to say gay or straight to imply that. Um, but uh, unless York starts making out with Thomas, Thomas is not likely to enjoy making out with anyone in this little uh, posse. Well, they're all, you know, open-minded in the afterlife. Well, and now aged Zack has died and joined them, I think is what, what just happened. Right, right. Thomas can start making out with aged Zack. Zack, it's great to see you again. How many years I'm has sure he been? doesn't have to look old. I've been close to you the whole time. You probably couldn't see me, but... You felt my presence nearby, right, Zack? Where my pudding? I never thought you'd get married and have a family. Quite a surprise. Why are you talking like that? Oh, you brought your grand. Oh, that's kind of sad. Skills, but I never saw that one coming. That's what makes humans so interesting. And that's why uh, I just can't leave you guys uh, alone. Oh. More than anything else. Seeing you look so happy is the best thing I could ever ask. Is just a dream sequence and not death? Anyway, Zack. Did you see the newspaper today? As it turns out, over the last three months, there's been a string of bizarre incidents near uh, New York. We call it the sequel crimes. Residents there are reporting a sudden strike of nausea, <laughs> and then they completely lose control of their body. Some have already had two months of only being able to walk backwards. Does that make you feel anything? It makes me feel something. Aroused, I know you'd obviously. Too, Zach. No. 
Okay, Zack. I thought that's what you'd say. Well then, it's time to wake up, Zack. Okay, so apparently York was the same sort of creature that Kaysen was. I guess they were our owl analogs in this game. Uh, and so York came to help Zack the human. He wasn't an alternate personality. He was a, a creature from some other place. Yeah, this is one of those bits in the, uh, the director's cut that was added that kind of by word of God, takes some fan theories and throws them out the door. Mom! Grandpa's gone! Where did he go? That was weird. But as doddering as they made him, I can't imagine him being a good detective anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, plus he died. Right, so, so. <laughs> are they are they now going to pick up a new, a new hero to, to ride? Yeah. That's what I assume. He's gonna, um, York is gonna go firewalk somebody else. All right, York. Yeah. I gotta go like twenty five years so in the past. Last that last card was not turned over. Okay. We could do four uh, D somewhere down the line too, if you can find a player. Maybe. It's much shorter. Well, because there's only one, uh, uh, one episode out, Correct. whatever, so far, right? And it's not guaranteed there will be more. And I can spend most of the time making fun of the Boston accent. He likes to wear the color blue. Okay. Uh, it's going to take a moment. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of tough to talk over this. I, I And I think this is the end. Uh, um, I mean, we have five minutes left. I, I think after this is just going to be credits, Seems right? that way. Sally was not a developed character much. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Because her, her analog in Twin Peaks was a much better character. She was... Valentine. Rosy Lips. No one's going to call you Rosy Lips. Granny with the pot. That's a, that's a weird picture of her. Prairie Goth, make it a thing, people. That Dalmatian had a love for coffee, apparently. Don't we all? I think it's funny how a lot of the main characters are voiced by the same actors, yet... Um, like, the different types of shadows each had a different... That there are like five people who were assigned as right. like crawling shadows. So, and they still wind up right. sounding like all the same. They're so so modified. Yeah, yeah. Yuck. The lid on the pot is shaking. I didn't catch that. Mm. So maybe there's like a cat in there or something. Oh, hey, it's white in the picture. I'm sort of imagining someone whose job it is to make the cards, like, way after the end of the game. Like, okay, go through the game and find out things to put on cards. Um, a worm? Uh, if he does it, Yes, he's going to do it. It may go by really quick, but they're... you got to look at a photo. you got to set the uh, 
jukebox to a certain song, you've got to... And he hasn't looked at any of the photos up till now. Hopefully he isn't gonna look at all the photos because there are a lot of them. Play cutscene. Oh. Okay. I hope it's not on. I'm me. sorry to break it to you. Suspense, really, it's killing me. I'm trying to think what the last chord might be. It might, it might be it, in uh, it, right? I think it's Swery himself. Huh. <laughs> Alright. You really are handsome. Holding a sapling, which is a little disturbing. Swery's been driving around the country uh, selling quote, selling saplings, quote, as well. <laughs> that's the end. All right, that's... Thanks for... Yeah, well, uh, everybody, thanks for sticking with us. Join us for the next one. Uh, we'll have another fun 70 or whatever episodes for you. And something else. Oh, Deadly Premonition. We are... You have been listening to Ice on Mars. Thank you.